against Argentina in the South African qualifiers. I'm just kidding, you guys. I got a little confused last episode, but it is the South American qualifiers because obviously both teams are from South America and also Ecuador, who we faced last episode, is from South America. So having said that and having gotten that out of the way, we have this match against Argentina and it was a pretty tough match and Cole gets the very first goal there just before the halftime whistle and it was a beautiful finesse shot from just uh, on the edge of the box. Look at that dirty shirt by the way, uh, apparently we'll be seeing a lot of that in FIFA 15, cannot wait to see that as uh, weird as that might sound, it's, it's a very nice little uh, thing, you know, it's the little things that count but um, as I was as I was uh, saying though, it's the 80th minute though we are getting substituted with Cole Jr. The match finishes 1-0. It, it was a very tough midfield battle in this one. The strikers didn't see much of the ball. That doesn't stop Cole from getting one goal and the 7.5 match rating. And after this match, we see the the qualifier standings with Brazil and Chile, Colombia are uh, occupying the first three spots. We face Uruguay, who was only on sixth place, but Uruguay is a very good team. Having said that, they make an awful mistake there and Cole gets the ball from Carlos Eduardo to put it in the back of the net and I, I didn't get to see what the time was but I feel that this was a pretty early in the match and Cole as you can see, he's wearing the captain armband. That's interesting right there. But the next opportunity here, Cole had passed it and then uh, I, I actually don't know who what teammate that was but he had a rocket of a shot on him and he only hit the post unlucky for him. And then, look at this one. This is exactly what I'm telling you with uh, AI decision making. Because Cole helped him, helped Robinho nonetheless. He helped Robinho get the ball there with the pressure. And Robinho just didn't do anything. He tried to literally walk the ball in the back of the net. But Cole makes it up by scoring a beautiful goal there. That I just love that outside of the foot finish. It, it looked like a toe poke. I was actually really surprised that beat the goalkeeper. But hey, it's a goal. And... Check this one out though, Cole gets fouled, and you know how they always take the free kicks? Cole is like, screw you guys, he takes it first time, and he actually forces a save from the goalkeeper. Considering that we can't even see where we're aiming at, I think that's a pretty darn good free kick there. And um, check out this one though, Cole is trying to get rid of his marking, but he ends up getting fouled. And I think it was because of that we took the free kick earlier, but we get to take our very first free kick in the career. And Cole, only from 19 meters out, he just uh, puts it over the, the crossbar. It, it was pretty close. And considering it was his first ever one, I think you shouldn't be harsh at all on Cole. I think that was a pretty good effort. And a lot better than what the teammates do. And I was just a real surprised that we got to take it. But the match finishes 2-0. Uh, Two goals for Cole gets him the 8.5 match rating. And after this match, I actually do... Uh, change his appearance a little bit. I only put long sleeves in be on because um, it's actually kind of a funny story. There's this user that kept commenting on every new be a pro career mode in FIFA video or become legend in PES video. He always would comment put long sleeves on and he would get like really passionate about it. So that's one guy that really likes his long sleeves. So we do that and uh, then we we try to see what uh, he would look like with the gloves on but I don't end up uh, putting gloves on him. I didn't prefer the gloves, but I really like the long sleeves on Cole. The only reason that we didn't have it uh, before is because we wanted to have the sweatbands on because, you know, sweat is love, sweat is life. But we are going to just rock these uh, long sleeves for now. And uh, in this match, again, in the South American qualifiers, we, are, we have not gone back to Italy just yet. This is the third match this episode. As Carlos Eduardo gets a first goal there, uh, it was kind of a lucky rebound, but it was a good uh, team move there, especially Cole. I'm pretty sure Cole has something to do. No, he did, but look at this beautiful flick. And then kind of gets a little bit lucky to get the ball there. Tries to cut us out with the fake shot, loses the ball, gets it back from the teammate. Finesse shot at the far post, and he gets another goal in this Bolivia match. And uh, another, uh, another goal, he hits another goal for Brazil, but it's his first goal in this uh, game. And as you can see, we're still doing the Ronaldinho celebration. I need... Don't let me forget guys to change his celebrations because yes, I need to, I want to have another one. But um, he plays a beautiful the ball there to the teammate and then the opposition did not expect the teammate to pass back to Cole. Obviously Cole asked for the ball, that's why they did. And that grants Brazil another goal and another, Cole, another goal for Cole as well. Two goals in this match. He dribbles away from goal there, he passes the ball, 
he asked for the ball back a flick the oh ever so op uh, abusable flick and we get a shot on target but he gets subbed there in the i, I actually think the 70th or 80th minute there for alexander pot on this match against bolivia ends with two cold goals in a 9.0 match rating now after this i'm actually going to show you his international goals and appearances uh, and his stats because you guys have wanted to see his overall and his stats for a long time So if you want to see anything in particular and you didn't have time to see it Just wind back pause it and you'll see it So we are 84 overall look at 86 speed with 85 explosive power which also counts as pace So I still count our uh, speed about 85 Not uh, really 86, but look at look at all those playing styles and um, as you did see though our weak foot is at maximum, but it still keeps training. I wonder what happens when it actually trains. But we are back in Italy now. We have the match with Atalanta. Before the match, you saw that we are tied on points with Juventus, but we are way ahead on goal difference with nine goals more than Juventus. And uh, this match with Atalanta, Cole gets a beautiful goal in the very first opportunity of the match. I actually don't know. I was just aiming in the dark there, but I don't know if it's... I don't remember if it is, but it was a beautiful goal. Another finesse shot at the far post. Very, very useful in, in the, this game. And in the 40th minute, Cole tries to break through everybody. Pace, shot, and save there. And it goes for the corner. And then Cole gets fouled here. Unfortunately, we don't get to take any more free kicks. So the match ends 1-0 for Milan with a Cole goal. We're about to see his rating as well. And then the league standing the table. Uh, uh, we are 7.5 match rating. The minimum acceptable i would say and we are still tied on points with juventus but they are starting to catch up on goal difference only six goals now between the first well the first and the first because they're both first place but juventus are really giving milan a run for their money but that's been the end of this episode guys really hope you enjoyed if you did do leave it a like i've been shade though thank you for watching goodbye